Hey everyone, Dr. Eric, the fitness physician, where I talk about all things related to hormonal fitness and muscle medicine, hormone optimization, peptides, and much more. So today I'm just going to talk quickly uh, about a couple of different things uh, related to uh, certain amino acids. Uh, I'm going to do a few of these as well, but one that uh, that I love in particular, and I talk to uh, about, uh, with them a lot of my patients, is uh, collagen supplementation. And I'll, I'll dig into just pure collagen, but one of the one of those uh, contributors of collagen is glycine. It's an amino acid uh, that I really like uh, for supplementation for just about everyone. So it's kind of an un unsung hero uh, of our bodies in terms of needs. And I think it's something that we don't get enough of uh, in general. Uh, and it's easy to supplement. Fortunately, there are th you can definitely get it in foods, uh, but sometimes it's best to supplement. And I'll go over the reasons why. So uh, a couple of things that people would be interested in that can actually, a couple of studies actually showed an enhancement of, of physical performance. They can put it up against a couple other things a couple other amino acids and etc like for example citrulline arginine actually had improvements in the athletic performance as well it wasn't a huge amount but it was beneficial the biggest one is collagen right and of course supplementing with collagen itself is great but one of the components of collagen is glycine it's one of the amino acids in there and this is just a nice way to add to it and i'll talk about how to bring it into your protocol it's just another tool uh, to help with increased collagen synthesis and of course we know about the importance of collagen for our joints our soft tissues cartilage uh, tendons, ligaments, and much, much more. It's integral, and especially as we get older, our, our soft tissues, our ligaments, and tendons, etc., are often the ones that break down or have injuries, right? Sometimes the muscle get, is, is still staying pretty strong, but the, the weak point is the ligaments. That's why so many people, you hear about people having injuries from tendonitis or they're lifting heavy weight and their muscles are okay, but their tendons give out. They don't bounce back or recover as quickly. They're harder to warm up, harder to provide nutrients and blood flow too. So it's important to keep these structures uh, strong and, and pliable. So collagen uh, is huge. Another one is, is it can also help with muscle growth, right? Uh, it's an indirect activation of mTOR and decreased uh, protein breakdown, which of course can help with anabolism and muscle growth. Of course, that's something we want to maintain is our, our st important structure is our muscle. Like I've talked about before, muscle is one of the largest or endocrine organs in the body. We need to maintain that. Again, I'm all about muscle health. A few studies have indicated benefits with aging, right? In terms of there's a certain gene found in fibroblasts called the GCAT. And then when they give it a glycine and, and turn on this gene, it actually makes them kind of act like young cells again and maintain proper fibroblast, fibro, fibroblast function, fibroblast of the cells in our soft tissues, collagen, uh, in terms of in, or in cells like, uh, again, cartilage, uh, tendons, ligaments, things of this nature. They, they're the repair cells when you get an injury or a strain or a wound. They rush in there to heal it and promote scars, and, and which is, you know, promote healing. Again, when you get a cut or an injury or a tendon injury, they're healing that tissue. So important to maintain important healthy fibroblasts. Another huge one, of course, we all talk about gut, right, and gut issues. Um, gut health and GI health in terms of glycine is important for that. That and glutamine are two great amino acids that can promote gut health by healing the microvilli, those little finger-like projections that are billions of them inside the, in, on the inner lining of the intestine where the food is absorbed. So you have to maintain optimal intestinal health. It can decrease incidence of leaky gut, promote proper gut function. That way we're absorbing the nutrients we need and getting rid of the, the toxins, etc., that we don't need. When people have a leaky gut or inflamed gut and they're gassy, they're bloated, they're not absorbing things properly, obviously that's uh, can, uh, not a good thing. It's going to promote bad health, bad absorption, and we all know how important about the gut is in the microbiome. We're hearing a ton of that every day and we're learning more and more every day. And that huge one is sleep. You know me, I'm big on sleep and stress, the big double S, right? So sleep is a good thing that can be enhanced with glycine. So I recommend taking some glycine and I take a nighttime stack, which I'll, I'll describe later, but... One thing you can do is at nighttime, take a few grams, three, four to five grams of glycine, uh, with just mix it with some water or some juice and just chug it down before bed. You can mix it with other things too, like I do, but glycine has been known, uh, again, it's kind of the, uh, it, it can help promote uh, sleep. Again, I won't get into all the biochemical mechanisms, but it can help with uh, formation of other neurotransmitters in the brain to promote relaxation. Whereas you have your glutamate, which is the excitatory neurotransmitter, you have GABA and glycine and things like this, which are actually more of the calming neurotransmitters so it can promote sleep. So that being said, glycine has a huge, huge number of things that it can do uh, be beneficial for the body. So again, you can get some things in foods, but not typically on the outside. It's easy to supplement and the recommendations are all over the place, anywhere from three to five grams. Some, people, some sources say you can go up to 10 to 20 grams at a time. It's not anything that's gonna hurt you if you're taking too much, but I usually take anywhere from five to 10 grams at a time. And again, uh, usually at night, but it's sometimes it's the best to divide up in doses. So add some glycine to your regimen. I think you'll notice a difference. It does help, uh, especially for as we get older and we're starting to br uh, break down a little bit and getting some aches and, and injuries and things of this nature. So, and of course, it can help with the important things too. 
uh, muscle growth, sleep, gut health, much, much more than just your joints. So hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to dig into some more amino acids later. Let me know, like this post, share it. Let me know what you want to hear about. And I will talk about it. Uh, tag me. I'm doing telemedicine. You can help and do consultations anywhere and happy to help you achieve your hormonal fitness uh, and muscle medicine uh, optimization program. Put it into work and put it into action. Also uh, doing an awesome one-two punch with Alec Gilbert. We have a combination uh, consultation where you can actually consult with both of us, get the best of both worlds, and get the ultimate optimization plan for your health and performance. So reach out. Everyone have an awesome day. We'll talk to you soon.